Okay, let us begin. First of all, we're going to go over some of the aircraft controls. How to control the airplane. So, just begin by drawing an airplane. Uh, let's see. What kind of funny. I don't know what that is right there. Ignore that. And we have our tail fin right here. Our vertical tail. Add these guys over here. Let's add our wings. Let's add them on the other side. Okay, so how do we control an airplane? Well, we have control surfaces right here. So I'll just draw in a few control surfaces right here. And we will see what they do in a bit. I'll go over each of them individually. Okay, and while we're at it, let's draw the center of mass. Okay, so we have our x-axis going out here. This is our x in the x body axis. So we have our y body axis. And then straight down, we have our z body axis. Okay, and then the positive orientation goes as follows. Okay, and then these are gotten, it's just uh, positive in the right hand sense. That is, if you have your hand, if you take your hand right here, let's see how well this shows up, and then you point your thumb in the direction of the axis and you roll your thumb around, the direction your thumb rotates or your hand rotates is the positive direction. This is important because a lot of sign conventions rely on this. So if you might get the right answer, but it might be in the complete wrong direction if you do it otherwise. So these right here, in this class right here, will be how we control the airplane. There's many other ways to do it, uh, but this is the most simple, most basic way to do it. Many aircraft, many small aircraft do it this way. There's other ways, just keep that in mind. So this is one, how, one way to control it. So let's just remember, we have our, just write down the controls here. So remember that P in the I direction plus Q in the J direction, or J hats, not hats onto them, plus R in the K direction, control the, or the roll, pitch, and yaw. And then the angles corresponding to those would be phi, theta, and psi. Let's see how well I can draw that. Okay, so for the roll, the, what controls the roll of the airplane are these guys right here. They're called the aileron, ailerons. So if I can spell that correctly. These are the ailerons. They control the pitch. Or they don't control the pitch. They control the pitch rate. Or roll rate. My, my bad. They control the roll rate. Which in turn controls the roll. We'll go over more details later. Um, secondly, we have the pitch control. That's theta. What controls the pitch are these flaps right here. These are called the elevators. So these control the pitch. And then finally for the yaw, which psi, is controlled by the rudder, which is located right here. So we got that. Let's move up. And then, oh, one other thing that controls is the engines, which are here, here, doesn't, depends on the airplane. Some of them have have their uh, propeller in front, some of them have them right here. You've seen some aircraft actually have engines up here, but for this class we'll just have our engines right here. This controls the thrust, which thrust is all, in this course, is given the symbol of tau. Okay, so moving on, let's just go with the ailerons and go more in detail on them. So ailerons, they are the primary control surface for roll. For roll. Okay, and typically ailerons are operated differentially. What that means is then one goes up, one goes down. So ailerons are operated differentially. 
meaning one up, one down. That is just generally how they are. So let's this will be our so this is a cross section of our wing right here. And then right here we have our ailerons. So let's just draw our cord line through here. And then we draw the cord line through the aileron. We'll give this angle right here, we'll just call it theta for now, is the angle between the cord lines of both of them, um, between the aileron and the wing. So let's say that this is a uh, cross sectional view of the left wing. So you might ask yourself, is this a positive or a negative angle? Well, as a general rule, positive control surfaces positive control surfaces deflect coarse negative response or no nah, excuse me screw that one up positive control surface deflection cause negative response I'll explain that in one minute Okay, what this means, this angle is a positive angle if it causes a negative response. A negative response, if we go back up to this picture right here, means that it's going in the negative direction of what is defined as positive by the right hand rule. So let's go back down to our wing over here. This right here, if this is the left, if this is the left wing, Think, uh, let's think this is the left wing. This, this is deflecting the air down, which is going to cause this wing to roll up. Okay, so let's look back up here. If this wing is going up, that means it's rolling in the positive x direction, or, the, or around the positive x axis. So, positive control surface, def positive control surface deflection causes a negative response. So this is causing a positive response, so this angle this angle theta will be negative. So this is negative. It's negative if this is the left wing. And we will find that throughout on the elevator as well as the rudder that this holds true as well. Okay, and then one more thing to note, I've said it before, but the ailerons do not actually change the roll. They actually control the roll rate, the rate at which the roll angle changes. So, means if you're turning your airplane and you keep and you leave the, uh, the flaps up and down, your airplane will keep rolling until it rolls all the way around. So typically you keep you deflect your ailerons until you get to your desired pitch or roll angle and then you bring them back to a neutral position. Okay? And that's different between different control surfaces. It's not always that way. Okay, let's now let's go on to the next the next one. Let's bring that all the way back up here. Okay, next we have the pitch control or the elevators. So elevators, as I said, control pitch. Okay, let's draw a cross section of our airplane. This is our vertical tail. Okay, this will be our cord line for our elevator. And then let's draw the elevator right here. So this will be the elevator. I'll draw the cord line through that. And then we have this other angle right here. So I'll just call that theta for this example. So let's see. This right here, this guy is known as the stabilizer and this one is called the elevator. So once again, the same sign convention applies as well. So this guy it's gonna bring the, it's gonna cause the plane to nose down. So let's get our airplane back. So if we look at this picture right here, if it causes it to nose down, 
you see our sign convention causes nosing down is actually in the negative direction. So that means that this angle right here is a positive angle. If it's going in this direction, if it goes this direction right here, it's negative because it causes it to go positive, a positive pitch angle. And then we have one more, it's the yaw control or the rudder. I spelled it? Yeah, I spelled that right. That controls yaw. So we'll draw a top view of our airplane now. Let's go out. And then we'll draw, that looks a little funny, but this is, this is the fuselage of the plane. So this is towards the front of the plane and these are the back tail. So we'll draw our chord line again, which will make this a little more pronounced. There we go, we'll draw our chord line right here. And then we have this other angle right here. So we have this other theta. Once again, it follows the same exact sign convention as the other two control surfaces. So this will cause the plane to turn this way, it'll cause it to yaw to the left. So let's look back at our picture. So if it's gonna, if the plane's gonna yaw to the left, that is gonna affect this Z axis, Z body axis. So if it goes to the left, it's going against this sign convention right here, or it's going in the negative direction of this. So our rule is that positive control surface deflection cause a negative response. So this will be positive right here because it was going in the negative direction. So this is a positive angle. I hope that makes sense. So that is how the sign convention works for the control surfaces. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Silas. Uh, make sure you keep watching. Next time we're going to go over a little bit about the equations of motion and how to begin actually deriving them. Thank you very much.